and I'm out again and going to a place I've been before with Stuart. I wanted to go with Stuart. Since this was my 50th wild camp according to my website, it's not actually, it's more like God knows what number because I missed a few when I first started going with Scott. But since it was my 50th, I did want to go for a two-nighter with Stuart. But unfortunately Stuart's not in country at the moment. So I'm doing something else a little bit special. I'm going somewhere where I've been before. I'm not uh, the people that watch my videos, it's the hidden waterfall. But this time, I'm going swimming. Really looking forward to it. I wasn't sure, well, this morning, I woke up, couldn't move my toes, I was in agony. Because of gout. And for those of you who suffer gout, you'll know the absolute agony that it is. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But I've got some advice for you guys who suffer, suffer from gout. Drink plenty of water and get up off your asses and do some exercise. It's gone now. Best cure there is for gout, exercise and water. I'm going to sign off now and I'll catch you again when we get closer to the waterfall. They've been busy, that wasn't here last time. It was here but it was rotten. And I think the waterfall's not got much water in it because it's pretty quiet. All this was covered in water last time we were here. Well, because the forecast was heavy rain, maybe some thunder, I brought my tent. And I wish I brought my tarp. could have put somewhere here then but instead I just got some to some high ground to have a look around down there looks as though it might be okay but if not maybe the other side of the other river there we'll have a look down there first I can't wait to get in there. The air is cooler here. That rock looks slippery, covered in moss, so chances are I'm about to stack it. Oh, it's not too bad. Well, now I'm down here. I did think of here for the tent, but it's soaking wet. And not too keen about it that close to the river 
because heavy rain has been forecast and I'm, you know, because of flash floods I don't want to pitch that close well, there's no way across that without swimming so I think I'm going to go back up to where me and Stuart camped last time and try there it's not too far to walk for the waterfall I don't know if these are naturally occurring or sinkholes that have been deliberately filled in for safety. I've chosen a different spot. I can't find the exact spot we camped in. So I'm going to camp there. It's time to get my Bergen out. No, I don't put my... Time to get my Bergen out. My Bergen's already out. Uh, time to get my tent out. No, I don't put my tent... I don't pack my... Bergen in a conventional way. My tent. It's stuffed in there. So it's easier to get out and easier to pack back in without having to unpack everything. Or if I want anything for my Bergen from the top end, I don't have to take my tent out. It's literally just round in there. tents out. Yeah, so camp set, everything's in the tent ready, and I'm off swimming. So I've got a quarter of a mile walk, maybe. But I'm not going to go through the boggy part. I'm going to cross over the river. And I've forgotten the waterproof back on the GoPro, so back we go. Shall we try again? You lot are in the waterproof back now, so I've got to shout at you. It's like trying to walk on ice. I nearly broke my leg. Ow. Timothy, you know where to find me. But I'm warning you, talent like this doesn't come cheap.
full of slimy boulders, perfect round boulders about this big. None of them are flat. It's really, really slippery. And my foot went down into cracks a couple of times and if I'd have fallen properly then would have snapped my leg. Wow, it's amazing. Let's see if I can get you in there. After being in that waterfall, I know I'm absolutely stinking, but I feel really clean. It's really refreshing. I wish I could have spent more time there. But I don't want to leave the tent too long, about a quarter of a mile away. I'm going to go back. You probably can't hear it on the camera, but I can hear some dickhead playing extremely loud music in the distance. Now, bearing in mind it took me an hour and a half to walk here. Someone's going to have bleeding eardrums in the morning. That's bloody risky in Solomon Boots.
We've just come up to the ridge line to explore a little bit. Uh, my tent is. Where's my tent? Just about there somewhere. Yeah, about there somewhere. I can't see it. You might be able to. On a big screen. I thought this was a ridge line. Um, I'm just going to go over to that ridge line there. Right there. It's not far. I think that over there is Bama Cigar. Not Cigar, Sir Gar. So I'll just go over to there. See exactly where I am. Who needs trick points to climb on when you got things like this? I'm a big kid. I think I'm out of shot. It's almost like striding edge all over again. Just not as high, scary, or windy. What you do have to remember though, just because it isn't high, or as windy as striding edge, if you stop concentrating for a second, it will snap your leg. These views are absolutely amazing. I hope the camera does them justice. I'm finally getting to try this tent out in the rain. Let's hope it's better than Tempest. I just made myself a hot chocolate and I'm gonna go to bed now when I finish this. So unless anything interesting happens I'll catch you in the morning. I think a horse has just run past. I hope it was a horse anyway. Without a rider. Some really weird noises around here. Sounds like someone's getting killed.
morning. I had um, a reasonable night's sleep last night. It rained quite heavy on and off. Um, there's some odd animal noises around here. I had to blow my uh, sleep mat up quite hard so it would stay up long enough because it's going down slowly but it was too hard I usually let it down a fair bit but if I'd have done that I'd have been up three or four times just to blow it up again but on the whole it was good the tent didn't leak, although I have got two drips on the inner there, up there, one there, one there. It's come through the seam, I think. But that's okay. I won't even bother reproofing that yet. Because it did rain really hard at some points. So I'm pleased with the tent. It's easy to pitch, waterproof. I know it stands up to high winds, so if you're looking for a reasonably priced two-man tent that will stand up to pretty much anything, you can't go wrong with a Van Gogh Nemesis. No trace whatsoever, apart from, well there is sign, yeah, a bit of flattened grass, but apart from that, no trace at all. <laughs> 